So this session uh, will explore indigenous food systems in the Potato Park in the Andes near Cusco of Peru. And the Potato Park is uh, a biocultural heritage territory which was established in 2000 with support of the NGO Asociación Andes. And it's now a, a thriving um, uh, indigenous food system uh, where um, indigenous Quechua values and beliefs are, are really strong. And it's provided a, a really important response or is providing a, an important response to, to a number of crises, to the crisis of, of biodiversity loss, uh, of you know, climate change impacts in the Andes, and also to, you know, to COVID-19 and, uh, and the, the, the racism crisis that we're, we're facing that this summer's events um, exposed. Um, thank you, and as you see, um, we, uh, uh, how our brothers and sisters are presenting this in a way that is weaving our story, is weaving our different uh, uh, perceptions and views. And um, again, I want to stress how the uh, three, uh, uh, three I use, the Sai Haruka, uh, um, I use, when they work together, when nature works together with humans and the sacred, then we have harmony, we have uh, plenty of food. So this is what we call Suma Causa. Uh, so a food system in the potato park uh, wouldn't exist if you do not, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 our old system of uh, 10, 18,000 uh, years old that we are doing agriculture here in these lands, we continue to be based on those principles and those values of working. Uh, together with nature, with the Pachamama, of working together with the sacred, with our uh, mountains. And that's how uh, our organization is expressed. This uh, organization, uh, this uh, uh, organization has been able uh, to reach out to the international network of indigenous peoples so that we are recognized uh, internationally um, because um, we try to work in a cooperative way. If we want to see the future uh, and among indigenous peoples, we need to remember of our values, uh, of our knowledge of our own way of doing things, and we shouldn't lose it. Uh, so if we want to have Sumai Kausai, when we be here, our institutions, our organizations have to be based, uh, has to be based on uh, our principles. So uh, Sister Christina, this is our presentation. This is uh, how we do Sumach Kausai when we be here and how the way we uh, um, um, are organized, how uh, we uh, work uh, in mutual benefit with our landscape in the Potato Park. Uh, and we are happy, uh, even though uh, we have the COVID pandemic upon us. And we have plenty of food. We have food that we ha uh, have shared with other communities, with uh, um, people that ha are hungry in Cusco, uh, and that tells the strength of our system. And thank you. Uh, we would like to uh, now. Uh, um, um, and, and now we, we would like to uh, introduce ourselves. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm coming. And, uh, 
is here in the Potato Park. I'm leader in in the uh, uh, we work with the um, medicinal plant collective. And uh, as you see, um, uh, you're going to find here from elders like me to um, to uh, to youth, and I'm very happy to see to have um, um, share our knowledge with all my uh, brothers and sisters. Um, good morning to everyone. I'm so happy to be also to say hello to these distinguished um, viewers. People, the commun community of Pamaru. Um, brothers and sisters, uh, Sister Cristina. Uh, we send you our greetings, um, as you see, um, uh, Ms. Hidora Takuri, <coughs> and our leader of the medicinal plants group. Uh, brothers and sister, um, uh, Brisaida, I'm a leader of the group of gastronomy. Brothers and sisters, I'm Ricardina Paco, I'm a leader um, uh, of the group of experts. I'm uh, Daniel Paco Cantori, I'm a technical local expert, local expert. I'm Mariano Suta, leader of the community of Pampa Yachta, I'm technical local, uh, local expert. Um, Sister Cristina, brothers and sisters, um, Adrian Supatakuri, um, the community of Amaru, and I am um, a local um, um, knowledge leader. Um, I'm Nazario Kispi Aman, Cristina, and uh, uh, hello everyone. Comunidad <tose> Panay Cristina, Alejandro y Cacho, Jojas Marta, Cuita, Apachimoche, No Casote y Yo, Amone y Comunidad Amaro. Bueno, no falta Panay Cristina, No Casote y Aniceto, Técnico Local, Parque de la Papa Comando. Thank 
Compañeros, vamos a hacer preguntas ahora, entonces alístanse para responder a preguntas. Aliachu. Compañeros, muchísimas gracias. Um, does anybody would like to have gracias, any questions? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vamos a hacer preguntas. Preguntas, alístanse. So, um, I hope everyone can hear me. Uh, would anyone like to ask a question to the Potato Park experts? We have 15 minutes left of this session and Alejandro can translate the responses. Okay, um, can you just, can I say something while people think of questions? Um, Alejandro, I'd like to just say thank you so much. Um, I really appreciated all their hard work and it's been very nice to see them all and I've learned a lot from them. The, the, the message about the values underpinning their food system is really important. Or should I say it in Spanish? Uh, yes, please, uh, Cristina. Uh, go, no. Compañeros, muchísimas gracias. Muchísimas gracias eh, por compartir todos vuestros eh, conocimientos, eh, sabidurías tan ricas eh, sobre los valores tan importantes. Y me, me alegro mucho de veros a todos. Muchísimas gracias. Um, tenemos una pregunta. <laughs> Hola. Tenemos una pregunta um, eh, que quieren saber eh, cómo mm, guardáis vuestras semillas de, de papa. O sea, sobre el eh, banco de, de semillas. ¿Podrías explicarlo un poquito, por favor? So I just asked about the question about how do they store their potato seeds, so they're responding to that now. Um, how do we... Um, uh, it, it, it may be um, uh, puzzling that uh, why we keep so many potatoes. Um, we only follow um, the way how uh, we have learned from our uh, elders. Mm. The way we do, we do the conservation and how we all, uh, order our different types of varieties that we follow um, uh, a tree. We have we know that the certain types of potatoes um, uh, derive from certain wild relatives, and they have different types of uh, uh, features. Uh, some are to uh, to to dry it, uh, and other uh, are like a to uh, to cook other types of peeling. So. Uh, the type of uh, conservation we do uh, reflects uh, the different types of uses that uh, uh, we make for the potatoes in the potato park. So, um, but uh, this type of um, uh, selection then uh, needs to be complemented by a, a basic infrastructure that uh, from all times we used to have. Now we have a seed bank uh, where uh, we store uh, using this type of um, um, a, a, a selection, uh, which is, uh, reflects our taxonomy. So uh, once uh, we have, uh, uh, if we were in the, uh, in the, in the, um, uh, in the, in the harvest time, then we bring um, all the potatoes that were collected 
and um, make this um, uh, um, make this uh, uh, take it to the storage uh, uh, in the storage and in, in in the month of May, and so that like we can we can uh, um, we can like uh, um, share with all the communities. Uh, um, so um, there is a connection between this last day of May, where we celebrate the National Day of Potato, uh, because it's the end of the planting of, of the um, harvest season, and between uh, May and um, and August um, is that we uh, start uh, processing different types of potatoes and do seed selection in as was explained before in the um, in, in the month of uh, august thank you very much another question yeah. yeah so we have a question um the, the, the question about how what the community expects and wants out of research on indigenous food systems um, they're not part of the AHRC project so I'm not sure if that question is that relevant. Bueno, para ahí que no hay copas que hay, esperamos acá si hay investigación con la banca, especialmente en Yapas y Achari y Cuna, que ha estado en el cambio climático en esta especialmente que pequeños agricultores para ir a Yapas, no hay copas que vamos a ir acá. Que en mi investigación buena banca no hay con más caricia y especialmente que hay eh, variedades de papas resistentes a los factores climáticos en esta papa con más caída. And how those changes in the landscapes are, 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 are having, are moving. Um, so um, the collaboration with scientists and doing this research allow us to um, uh, respond to a specific um, uh, problems that we have. So uh, it could be, it could, it could be um, pests, it could be uh, how potatoes are moving very fast up in the mountain, uh, how we can use in, uh, in gastronomy, how we are used in medicine. So we have different types of questions uh, and our research is decided by us and respond to our needs. So, um, uh, being engaged in research uh, uh, has allowed us also to build an infrastructure of conservation. <clears throat> and that infrastructure of uh, uh, conservation translates into um, um, responses, solutions that then uh, the economic collectives can take advantage, like in gastronomy or developing new products for the potato part. So, and all that is connected also to the intercommunity um, agreement that we have. Thank you. Están disponibles como en el and like a, um, uh, as a potato park, uh, we uh, do not um, um, see uh, necessary to have modern varieties. Uh, in our ecology, those modern varieties do not um, work, uh, do, uh, do not produce. But the, the uh, native potatoes, especially those that have colors, especially those that have uh, <clears throat> taste and uh, um, texture, those are that are of uh, interest because we know them. Uh, we know which of those uh, can be used for health, uh, for food, uh, 
for medicine, uh, for ritual. Uh, we can make it, uh, use it in the restaurant that we have here, or we can take it to the market, uh, especially for the booming um, gastronomy industry. Thank you so much. So I have another question. Um, la pregunta, otra pregunta que tenemos, eh, si es que la ceremonia que habéis hecho en el contexto del, de la pandemia eh, os ayuda a tener menos miedo o de la, del COVID. Esa es la pregunta. Y también si la papa es eh, vulnerable a los blights, a, a las enfermedades. A la y si hay una manera de enfrentar esas enfermedades. Let me allow the, the so question. So I, I wanted to okay. say it in English as well, so everyone else knows what the question mm -hmm. is. It's, it does the ceremony in the pandemic context help them to fear less the impact of COVID? And another question is, um, potato is vulnerable to blights. Is there a method to fight these? Bueno, Ana y Cristina, lo que primero hemos hecho ver una ver una un un poquito de cascamán y también una verosmanta. Sí, no hay como no hay como este como le das una cosa que hay. Can you translate, Alejandro? Uh, hello. Uh, the pandemic has affected these communities in a different way. Because we we were um, we have focused on strengthening our local food system when the pandemic arrived, uh, um, we are very uh, we didn't depend of external markets. We uh, depended on our own food production. So when uh, the markets were closed, uh, when the roads were closed, um, we were able uh, to even host there uh, other people. We have all types of products. We have quinoas, uh, we have um, fasciolis, we have uh, um, corn and other types. So we have plenty of food here. Um, and so our work that has focused on keeping the food for us allow us to uh, respond um, uh, to those, uh, to those um, uh, pressures and uh, the different types of uh, um, uh, um, needs that we have. So um, uh, this shows that if you uh, conserve a large diversity of food crops, this type of crisis can be overcome. Uh, you won't have um, this type of needs of food. So, um, yes, um, uh, uh, the values are inherent to our system. Uh, and happy that if we wouldn't have those values, uh, we wouldn't be able to uh, connect uh, this diversity. Um, uh, uh, about your question on Phytophthora uh, and how we we are dealing with this. Uh, we've been living with um, a Phytophthora for thousands of years. So um, this is a disease that um, it doesn't need uh, any type of uh, uh, external um, uh, solutions. Um, we do a, a management um, uh, by doing a good selection of seeds first, uh, selecting a, a land where uh, uh, you have to be uh, um, rotating your crop so that you avoid um, putting in the same type of plot where uh, the phytophthora is. 
So uh, doing rotation and good seed selection uh, provides you a good strategy to respond to this, uh, to this type of disease. So we don't need transgenics or any type of modern seed to, uh, um, to, uh, to respond to this. Having high diversity is another uh, strategy. Uh, because the, the disease will affect uh, usually only to one or two diverse uh, um, varieties. But if you keep a large diversity of potatoes, then uh, you minimize the impact of the, uh, of the disease. So you have to learn how to live with it, know how to disappear it. So, See, and, and then also you, you have to work with nature. We know uh, medicinal plants, we know other types of uh, um, uh, plants that um, help us to make uh, uh, different types of um, uh, preparations by which we can also help the potatoes to resist. Uh, though, um, if Phytophthora is moving higher up with climate change, our crops are moving more and more up. And of course, uh, this is concerning because uh, uh, how the uh, um, Phytophthora, um, our traditional methods of um, dealing with Phytophthora uh, are now, um, uh, uh, they continue to strengthen, but uh, we uh, still need collaboration with science. Uh, to see how we strengthen these agroecological methods that we have used for thousands of years to uh, respond to um, to to the, uh, to the phytophthora. I'm really sorry we're going over a bit. I hope people don't mind, but I think there are a few more questions. If that's okay with everyone. ¿Cómo es el proceso de decidir qué conocimiento se puede compartir y cuál no? Y para qué y para los que Quechua y para los que medidas toman para preservar el conocimiento sagrado que no se comparte. Uh, just a quick thing. Uh, so, el conocimiento que se decide no compartir, pues, ¿qué medidas toma la comunidad para preservar ese conocimiento que no se comparte uh, fuera de la comunidad? Esta es la segunda pregunta. Porque son... ¿Se entiende? Can I translate to English? Um, what is the process to decide which knowledge you can share and which you can't share and what measures are taken to preserve sacred knowledge that can't be shared? Um, my, my answer is... There is three ways of uh, of managing knowledge in the potato park. There is one type of knowledge that it's not shared. Another type of knowledge that uh, it's shared with care. So we have to make uh, all types of um, uh, measures uh, so that there is not a misappropriation of that, uh, that type of uh, knowledge. And the third stream is the type of knowledge that we share with anyone. It's the type of knowledge that uh, we must um, well oblige to uh, um, share with other people because uh, on that depends the food, uh, the livelihoods, and and um, uh, <clears throat> the organization. But in terms of a specific knowledge, uh, the majority of the of that knowledge is in the second level, the the, the knowledge that uh, has been. Um, misappropriated and with his um, uh, claims of um, biopiracy. And the first type of knowledge, the sacred the, the type of knowledge uh, um, that we don't share for any, in any, um, in any manner. 
uh, for instance, the knowledge about values, the knowledge about principles, that's the knowledge that we have to share with the knowledge of being in harmony with um, between female and male is the knowledge that we have to share. The knowledge about transmitting it to future generations is the knowledge that you have to share. So there is types of knowledge that you are obliged to to uh, to knowledge, but the knowledge that is sacred, the knowledge that is uh, uh, related to uh, the use of medicinal plants, the use of specific species, we don't share. So I have, I think, one last question, if that's okay. Um, a colega de, well, Q, Casper Charter from Q, like to ask the community if they have plans of how to respond to climate change. Is uh, yeah. preparing for climate change an active strategy for their seed development? <laughs> he, and is preparing for climate change an active strategy for their seed development? <laughs> uh, allow me to respond to this. Uh, the climate change is a big, uh, is a challenge for us. And, uh, uh, we collaborate with scientists in this regard because this is a global problem that requires the connection between the local and the global. This uh, climate change is affecting and uh, is the biggest challenge that we have. So uh, diversity, uh, the diversity of potatoes that we keep in the potato park has provided us the tools for doing this type of research. Uh, uh, one of the, uh, uh, the lessons of the five year research we have done with the uh, International Potato Center is that um, we, uh, even though we have a large diversity, we should be increasing uh, the, uh, uh, the number of varieties that each farmer has, because no all farmers have all the, uh, or plant the, side of the type of diversity uh, in, in an even way. <laughs> but also, um, we need to involve the, the, the youth. Uh, we need to well, the elder, they have the knowledge about how, what type of potatoes we may, may use to respond to certain type of health problems. And in that way, we can, uh, we can like, um, 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 respond. And we don't, we don't have to, uh, I mean, we have to make all the effort to make, uh, to keep this knowledge. Um, uh, perhaps I, I have not responded fully, so I'm going to pass to any, uh, my, my colleague here. Climate change. Uh, climate change has been an issue for a few years here. We've been uh, uh, collaborating with um, universities, research centers, and other organizations in doing different type of research. So collaboration is important. Uh, climate change is, uh, 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 is going to affect the, the variety of potatoes that we have. But this variety is also important for people outside. So um, a, any type of articulation with uh, scientists and bringing uh, the knowledge that uh, we may not have will allow us to respond. Um, there, is a, there is a trend that we're seeing in the potato park. All the crops are moving up. And while uh, we may have new crops in the lower part, we are losing many of those in the upper part. So it's a, it's a very challenging situation. Uh, um, we may have extinction of many varieties if we don't make the efforts to keep it. We have a, a very, very quick question if possible, 
from Nara. Um, are all the varieties that have been retrieved, are they all commercially grown? I assume that means retrieved from the International Potato Centre. Are they commercially grown? Are they grown for the market? Son crecidos comercialmente. Oh no. Bueno, eh, van a ir con la papa se de María Musa. Bueno, si papa con Natalia, está ahí como ajena acá. Siempre comercio para acá, guay, guay, pan papa con Natalia, anastaco, o ajliaricos para allá. It, it depends. Um, we um, first uh, prioritize our own food. Uh, the repatriation was done to bring back potatoes that were collected in the potato park. So those are not new varieties. Those are old varieties from the region. And uh, we do not uh, um, um, plant them for commercial purposes, but for food principally. And we conserve so that we, in the future, could have a community uh, seed enterprise. And th that would be the best way of connecting ourselves with the market. Okay, well, thank you so much, everyone. And um, thank you, muchísimas gracias, compañeros, por todos esos conocimientos, experiencias que habéis compartido. Thank you very much for sharing all your knowledge and experiences. Um, it's been a wonderful session, and I, I really appreciate your time. Ha sido una sesión eh, maravillosa. Muchísimas gracias por vuestro tiempo. Um, Thank you very much to everyone at Andes, uh, Jessica, Kike, and particularly Alejandro for all his hard work with the translation. And um, thank you, muchas gracias a todos, a, a Kike uh, y a Jessica y a Alejandro y a todos y a todos vosotros. Eh, ha sido una sesión eh, muy um, estupenda. Muchísimas gracias. Aliancho. <laughs> hey, bueno, para ahí, Cristina. Dime ya está, ya están aquí en Picasso. Y bueno, para ahí, Cristina and everyone. Uh, we want to also thank you. We are very happy to collaborate with you. And um, we hope that uh, our our collaboration continues and because that has been always important for the organization of the potato park um, it's always uh, this exchange of knowledge exchange of information that provides us more knowledge uh, and provide us the tools so we can respond to uh, future challenges Okay, adios. Muchas gracias. <laughs>